questions this afternoon for ophthalmologist Dr. George Simon. And Belva, you had a question. I wondered if this operation could be done on children and how young. It, it can't be done on children because children's eyes are still changing, and we don't do the surgery until the progression of nearsightedness has stopped. Usually the age at which we first operate is about uh, 20 or 21 years old. I like not to operate on people under 21 years of age because their eyes are still changing. Mm -hmm. Stuart. I know most diseases are degenerative, and uh, I'm just wondering, I can't visualize how an operation could suddenly stop that kind of a process. Myopia isn't a degenerative disease. It's a, it's a hereditary aspect, and one develops myopia as one grows, as the eye grows. And when that eye stops growing, the myopia stops changing. At that point, changing the eye is a permanent change. Mary. Do they operate on people who are both nearsighted and farsighted? If you're both nearsighted and farsighted in both eyes, it means that you're presbyopic. It means that you can't focus to see up close through your glasses. And the operation works just as well on that individual as any other person who's nearsighted. That individual will still have to wear reading glasses, though. Now, we have uh, Kevin and Teresa Hartman in the, in the audience. Teresa, you had the surgery done first of all, correct? Right. What did Kevin think about your idea to do this? Well, we had talked about it and then just put it on the back burner for a while until I got to the point where I was going to go and see him and talk about it again. Uh -huh. And I saw Dr. Simon on the 30th of April and had my first eye done June 1st and second one done uh, July 16th. And then my husband went in and had his done in August. He waited to see the results and how I... <laughs> you, waited, you were the guinea pig, in other words. And then when it was okay, Kevin... What did you think of the idea of her to do it in the first place, Kevin? Well, it was kind of, it just kind of came up to us on a, on, a, on a rush type thing. And we, like Terry said, we did put it on the back burner and uh, didn't give it much thought until we, we kept thinking more about it. And then when she got her mind made up to go ahead and do it, there was no way that I was either going to talk her out of it or try and get to do it <laughs> ahead of her either. So uh, after she started the, pr uh, the examinations and the procedure, um, uh, it, it was just exciting for me to watch her go through it and how, how totally elated she, she was with the whole procedure and how wonderful it was. And uh, I'd say in between her first and second eye, I, I knew that I was going to have it done. It was just a matter of getting her out of the way, so to speak, so that I could come in. <laughs> now, my turn. Well, you two have a wonderful relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it's real nice. <laughs> the only time in my life he asked me every day, how are your eyes? <laughs> yeah. What was your vision, Teresa? What is Mine it? was uh, 20, 1,200 in one eye and 20, 1,000 in the other. And now? Uh, about 2015, both eyes. Mm -hmm. You get Well, I, uh, mine was about uh, 2,800. And uh, I have uh, pretty severe astigmatism, which Dr. Simon was able to correct. So now I, I believe my vision is down to about 20-20. I don't wear glasses. And I did have the uh, pretty, pretty severe astigmatism that he corrected. Sounds pretty good, Stuart, doesn't it? <laughs> Where's your office? <laughs> Rita, you, Speak have, to <laughs> you have also had it done. Yes. Why? I live for the summer and summer sports, swimming and surfing and snorkeling. And my husband and I went on vacation in Tahiti, and we went diving. And in less than 15 minutes, I got racked up on a coral reef. And it occurred to me it could have been a shark. I wouldn't have seen it. I'm one of those people I was 20. When I was 20,000, when I was 20, 1800, when asked to read the chart at the eye doctor's office on the wall, I would say, where's the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see anything without my glasses at all. Um, well, I was very excited when I first heard about the surgery and had decided um, that I would go to New York and have it done because I, there were two surgeons in New York doing it, and it happened that they were in the town where my in-laws live. So I thought I would stay at their house and have the eye surgery done. And then Dr. Simon said that he was doing it. I couldn't believe it. I was very quick to sign up. I didn't hope for perfect vision. I thought even a 25% improvement in my case would have been a miracle because my glasses were so heavy that it was very difficult to wear them. And you say heavy, I mean, they were real they thick. They were very thick 
uh, lenses, they weren't plastic lenses, they were glass, and they were very heavy. The most amazing thing to me was during the surgery, which was very quick, the first eye, I could suddenly see Dr. Simon's hand, which was just unbelievable. Um, during the actual surgery, there was, there was a point at which I instantly developed the vision. And it stayed that way. And now I have perfect vision. Isn't that something? That's the model. Thank you. Linda, you had a question. Oh, I think it was, I think my question really was about, um, like, I have a 16-year-old daughter whose vision has become quite a bit worse in the last few years, and it's really reassuring to know that by the time she's 20, then, it shouldn't be getting any worse, even by nature, even without this operation. But that was really my question. I was thinking, how could you do a surgery, uh, you know, to change something that I see keep getting worse over the time? But It's going to stop. It is. Good. That's, that's wonderful. Bill, you had a question. Yeah, I'm a little over. 50 years old, and I'm concerned about a person my age if this operation is very successful. It's extremely successful in people over 40. Is there an age limit? I there, mean, there's a younger age limit. There's you, no older age limit. You just if you if I were 96 and kicking up my heels and wanted to come in and have it done, I'd I say, keep getting older. You know. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, yeah. great. Well, That's you awesome. may have. Brought a wonderful gift oh. for Christmas to a lot of thousands of people uh, watching. People are talking in the afternoon. Thank you for Thank being you. with us. Thank you. And I'll be back. Real good.